<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome to some more complete loot overhaul community patch farming here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. Uh, this is where I take the latest community patch which has been released on the uh, GitHub. Um, links will be in the description for that. Uh, made by Raven Jim and uh, go ahead and farm all the new available drops. So today I'm going to be going after the Moondowner or Outcast or the Jolly Swagman depending on what uh, playthrough you are from. You can do this in Atlands Canyon, there's a Jolly Swagman there if you don't want to come to Stanton's Liver. But I'm going to go and uh, give the Stanton's Liver one uh, a try. So yes, this guy now drops the uh, the new uniques um, that can't be got from anywhere apart from any loot source. Um, like grinding or um, what's the other one? Just finding them in the vendors and stuff like that, or just lucky random world drops. Now, this guy, the Jolly Swagman, will drop the. Um, whoa, that was not good. Uh, he will drop the um, the Boomercorn, Jacko Cannon, Old Painful, and uh, the Machine. Um, so I'm going to need to go down here and try and kill this guy because I, I wrecked that one. Um, so yeah, he now will drop this. Uh, he doesn't seem to have dropped anything for me there though. Uh, oh, we've got a green pistol. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, we've got a potential of four drops today. And I'm going to keep going um, until I get them all. So we'll do the usual uh, community patch style of 10-ish minutes um, farming this guy. And then if I don't get anything um, by the end, then uh, we'll, we'll uh, carry on off live recording and I'll farm by myself until I get all of the drops in question. So yeah, that is how it's going to play out today. I uh, decided to use the Baroness for this just because I can get some nice good early snipes on this guy and uh, it's good to switch characters now and again. Holy hell, that was quicker. Uh, right, we've got a blue there. Could that be? Could that be a new? It is the wet week, unfortunately, that is uh, no change there, he drops the wet week now anyway. So, uh, although that is a unique, it's not one of the new four that we are after. But still, it's good to see, good to see him drop in the wet week still. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get at least one of these guys um, live today. Um, we can get a good amount of runs in very quickly on this guy, so uh, hopefully it won't take too long. But... Like I said, we'll just keep going until uh, until the 10-ish minutes are up. And uh, then I'll just keep farming this guy until we actually get it. It's nice to have a reason to come back to the Jolly Swagman. Because I always thought, until the wet week was uh, introduced, I always thought this guy was pretty useless. I don't know why they put him in here if he just didn't drop anything like decent. Uh, now that it's been addressed from this new community patch. And uh, he's now very useful again. I wish I'd have had him during my uh, hunt episodes because I spent many, many episodes in the pre-sequel trying to find uh, the Boomicorn and the Jacko Cannon. I think I got the old Painful and the Machine quite uh, in vendors or quite early on, luckily. But I could never find the blooming Boomicorn or Jacko Cannon. Uh, and in the end, I had to go to the grinder and find the right recipe and uh, get it there. But not anymore. Now we can just apply the complete loot overhaul patch and come here and farm him. So if I ever do another hunt style video, that is what I will do. Go for the head. Still nothing there. So the drop rates aren't uh, amazing it seems, but that's good. Gives us a challenge. It'd be a bit boring if we came here and got all four in four runs. And uh, it'd be a nice little farming route now in Stanton's Liver. You can go get the four guys from over there. Then you can go to Rooster Booster and get an Oxidizer. Um, actually, Rooster Booster now has a new drop as well in this, as does the Disgusting Talk. Disgusting Talk now drops the Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, and Rooster Booster now drops the Mongol as well. So, Flacker, Mongol, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, Oxidizer. Boomcorn, Old Painful, Jacko Cannon and Machine, all available, farmable, in Stanton's Liver. That's good. Just green there. What's that? Just a canister. Come on, Swagman. Give me some swag. Actually, I can't remember where... Whoa, what is that? Um, I can't remember 
I didn't think I paid attention to what he was called in this playthrough, actually. Remind me to look this time. It might be Outcast. I don't know. I'm sure he's Jolly Swagman in the first playthrough. Oh, I think he's in Moondowner in the last one. We'll see. We'll soon see right here. What are you? You are the moon down. I thought you might be. Green again. Damn you, my friend. Come on. Just give me one. Give me one quickly. Doesn't matter how many you drop. Because we're going to get them all off you anyway. No matter how long it takes. I just want one before we end. And again, we're only just over the five minute mark here. So uh, plenty of runs to come. I hope I don't run out of sniper ammo. Seem to be holding okay so far. Go, 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 go! Here we go then. Yeah, let's go for the explosive element this time. Screw it. Is he dead? He certainly is dead. Managed to get one of those flies as well. Your drops are rubbish at the minute. Definitely got the patch on because I've seen um, Moonstone's auto picking up. So it's not like the last episode where we actually uh, we actually went two or three runs of Laszlo without. I think it was two runs, two runs of Laszlo without having the patch on, which was a bit of a, uh, a mess up. But hey, these things happen. Right, boost ourselves right over here and go for it again. Yeah, we'll go for the cryo element this time then. And nothing again. He's liking dropping these greens at the minute. We don't want greens. He's supposed to be the swag man. Where is the swag? I see no swag from you right now. Right, I think we could probably say four more runs. Maybe five. Four or five more runs. Uh, and that'll be good enough for me. Let's just hope we can get something in those five. Yeah, let's say five runs. Five runs. I'm optimistic here. I think we'll get something in them five runs. Surely. Surely, surely, surely. At least the uh, the kills are nice and quick on him at the minute. Let's go for shock. I try and avoid fire and corrosive if I can. I don't know why. I just think this sniper's better with uh, explosive cryo or... Uh, did I say I tried to avoid cryo? It's corrosive and flame anyway. I use the others because I think they're more powerful. To be honest, I think cryo is the best. I do like using cryo. Right. Just the freeze chance actually that makes it better. If the boss is frozen and can't do anything, you can uh, kill him at your leisure. Oh, I'll do it for shock. Wow, I just wrecked him there. Still no sign of anything though. Just freeze, bitch. Swag man, why you do this? God, it's going to take me so long to get all four of these, isn't it? So, so, so long. And I've lost count of how many runs I'm on, but meh, who cares? We're just under the nine minute mark at the minute, so uh, I think we'll go a little bit ahead of it. Maybe get to about 12 and then stop. I just want one thing. One thing, baby. Come on. That looks like it could be a machine. It could be a machine. It's another wet week. God damn it, Swagman. Why? You've got bits like that. You've got five things in your loot pool now and you've dropped the same one twice and it's not even part of the new patch. Git. Well, not giving up. If you want to die multiple more times, that is your prerogative. But you know me. Ain't gonna stop. Hopefully. <laughs> Always gotta put that hopefully on the end of it. 
Obviously, if I'm like 500 runs down and he doesn't drop anything, then I will stop. You will win until I find out what's gone on. Another green. Yeah, moonstones are still picking up, so the patch is still on. You watch, I've gone to the wrong Jolly Swagman. I know that sounds stupid because I think they're the same mechanic, but there is one in Outlands Canyon, and on the actual patch notes, it does say um, Outcast Outlands. But maybe, maybe, surely they can't just code that one Swagman. I don't know, would they be classed as two different guys or the same guy? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how mechanics work in that sense, but hey, we'll just keep going. I don't mind doing a couple more. Why? I don't want to hit the fly. Get the fly out of my way. Right, I'm going down with the fast talker then. That is not the fast talker. Yep, see how hard they hit the moon down because that git was in the way. Oh, thank you for the blue skin. I'm starting to think I'm at the wrong place here. I'm not going to give up though. I will. Even if we go. Uh, I think I'm going to farm for another good half hour by, m by myself and if I don't see anything then we might have to move to Outlands Canyon but I'll of course update you guys on the progress of that when we do get the drops to happen. But now it must just be luck, bad luck coming in at the minute. Right the fly's gone so another green, god damn it. You will not defeat me. I wish those blooming flies would sod off. Or whatever they are. No, they are flies, aren't they? The cord. Right. Two more runs. Yes, right. I'm definitely calling it. Two more runs. And then uh, I'll do some uh, investigating and farming by myself. Hopefully we can get the drops on this guy. The one in Outlands takes a bit longer to get to, so uh, I'd rather farm this guy, but obviously if he doesn't drop anything, then I might have to uh, accept the fact that I'll have to go to Outlands while that was a really bad start. Better, but still no drop. Shock horror. Has this been a waste of my time? I don't know, but we'll see in one more run's time. Damn you, Swagman. Final run, then. I can't believe how long this has taken and nothing. Right, here we go. Do me proud this time. Change. Change things. I've got a blue. Oh. That looks like that looks like a shotgun. It is boomercorn. May yeah, it looks like the boomercorn. It certainly is. Get in. So he does drop him right in time. See, that is good to know. Well, there's the boomercorn, guys. Have I got it? Oh god, I don't know if I ought to equip that. Oh no. Did we ought to equip it? No, I don't think we did. The hell is that? I don't want that. Ah, well anyway guys, he uh, he drops them. We've got ourselves the boom corn. We know that. Let's get the shard out actually, screw it. Die everything. Uh, so yeah, we've managed to get the boom corn. So it's now up to me to uh, to get the Jacko cannon, um, the old painful and the machine. Oh hello. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll update you on that coming up right now. Right, well, welcome back everybody. Uh, so, we carried on farming. The very next run this is, so uh, one run later, after all them runs with absolutely nothing, we quit out, come back in, and there is the machine. So, uh, yeah, I think I was just at a bit of a dry spot there, um, because uh, it drops two uniques in two runs for me. But uh, there is the machine, the unique sniper rifle. Pretty good sniper rifle as well, actually. So, uh, I do really recommend giving it a, a farm and a good try out. Um, so, that was that drop. Two runs later then we come back and uh, nothing after the, the machine drop but uh, then we come back in and kill him just nearly uh, dead so uh, we'll slam on him and kill him right there and uh, as you can see just to the right there saw it drop 
there is the old painful so uh, yeah that is like three or f well, four runs and uh, we have three uniques why couldn't this have happened when i was recording normally uh, but there is the old painful the uh, the unique assault rifle spinny gun thing a uh, pretty good weapon actually quite impressed with this one uh, when it first came out do like uh, do like this uh, weapon actually. Uh, so that is the old painful dumb, which means that we are left with the boomer core. Now this took a little bit longer actually. I think it took about nine more runs after uh, managing to get the uh, the old painful to drop. But uh, again, pretty quick farm, so not too fussed about it. And uh, there is the Jacko cannon, which is a pretty cool, unique uh, pumpkin shooting sniper rifle. Uh, sorry, shotgun. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, there you go, guys. There are the four unique. Um, weapons that you can get from the Jolly Swagman now from this community patch, complete loot overhaul patch. Really hope you enjoyed this, thank you guys for watching, check the link in the description for everything you need to know about this community patch, getting it installed yourself and things like that. Uh, but for now, uh, that is the uh, Jolly Swagman's drops. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.